Awesome. We are super excited for today's Mastermind Monday, and uh, hopefully everybody had a great Easter um, as we get back into it. And we are going to be talking about something that people have been requesting for the longest time, AI. And, and AI is like the big buzzword in every business, but especially in real estate. Um, and I'm really excited to learn from our speaker today, Carrie Sove. Did I say that right, Carrie? Sove. Sove, Carrie Sove. Um, Carrie has uh, been in real estate for quite some time, and she has been one of the early adopters in this AI world, and she has used it to grow her real estate business. Um, and, and also, she has become kind of a teacher and a speaker and a trainer in this type of technology. And Carrie's going to kind of show us a little bit about AI and how we can implement this in our business. So, so there's a lot of people here, Carrie, that are kind of new to the AI world. Start at the beginning and 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 tell us about AI and and just tell us how you got and how you got started using it. Well, I have a whole presentation. Um, so why don't I share my screen? I just want to start out sure. by saying, um. When I start presenting, I won't be able to see anybody and I want this to be super interactive. So if you have any questions, just shout at me, okay? Absolutely. And we'll, we'll be putting, if you have questions, you can also put them in the chat if you want to do that. If you want to raise your hand, you can do that. Um, and uh, Carrie, I made you a co-host so you can share your screen and take it away. Perfect. Yeah. Just make sure you yell any questions at me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So let's start. Let's start. Okay. So we're going to talk about AI for your real estate business and Have a good day. skyrocketing your social media presence, your whole business, cutting costs is what I want to really focus on and generating more business without adding hours to your day um, for many reasons. So we all have um, different priorities here. Some of you are going to save time and want to spend time with your family, which is great and just living your best life. Some of you, if you're like me, will use your extra time to just keep building more and more and more. Um, there's nothing wrong with either one of them. I want to first introduce myself. So I am the official AI consultant to eXp internationally. So I work with corporate and I put AI into the back end of eXp. So any of the eXp agents on here, um, we are one, we are the leading brokerage in tech. Okay. And uh, EXP, obviously the metaverse and their early adoption of AI, super important. So I'm super just grateful that they chose me and a woman to consult with on everything AI at the brokerage. Uh, I don't just do consulting with EXP. I actually do consulting with Royal Page, Remax, and several mega teams across North America as well. Um, I am an international speaker on everything AI. I've been speaking at Inman as of most recently all over. I just got back from Nashville, which is how um, I got here. There was an, a commercial agent. So it was a commercial conference in Nashville. And I've been a commercial and residential real estate agent for 15 years almost. Okay. So I've built programs um, to help agents in both industries implement AI into their business. Uh, I've also been for the last nine years straight, one of the top 10 realtors on social media in my province, because I'm Canadian guys, if you didn't know, uh, of Ontario and also in my city. Uh, and yes, as a commercial agent, that's what grew it the most, having those off-market properties. Uh, I got a lot of investors, a lot of builders following me early on in my career. Um, and just to give you a little bit of incentive 
and show you the opportunity that AI is bringing to the table. I'm cur I've cur I'm currently running a million dollar business with one employee and AI, and I built that million dollar business in five months. So in terms of leverage AI, there's nothing that beats it. Okay, and we'll talk more about this. This presentation is going to be on um, leverage, how to use AI as leverage specifically. So why you should be using AI, okay? So AI is affordable leverage to everybody, okay? Um, it costs money to scale in our business. Can we all agree that with that? Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of us, unfortunately, have not been able to scale because we have families we're supporting. The cost of scaling is huge, okay? We're talking lead gen, we're talking support staff. And, you know, you should be investing in your business and it should cost money to scale because like if, if I owned a pizzeria, I could not expect to start this business without a substantial investment, correct? So what AI is doing is it's, it's giving us that power to scale without the huge price tag attached to it in marketing companies, lead generation companies, video editors, um, social media management companies, assistants, like you name it, AI can replace all of this. And I'm going to show you how. Um, my prediction is the landscape of top producers is going to look significantly different in the next year. I would say year. Here it says one to two years. I would say year. And that's why, because we can't count out John Smith in the office next to us who hasn't been able to break through $100,000 a year because he can't afford to scale. He's got a family to support. So we're going to see people like that. If they're making the decision and using AI and they're deciding I'm going to scale, these are names that you're going to see on the leaderboard. And unfortunately, the teams and the top producers who are not implementing AI are going to fall behind. Okay. Now I want to cover a little bit of fact versus fiction. Okay. Simply learning AI is not going to generate you business. Okay. You need to be weary of, you know, uh, just somebody giving you the tools without showing you how to implement them into money generating systems, because that's, what's going to make you money. Funnels, those are my specialty. I'm creating entire workflows and massive funnels with AI. And that's the power of AI in terms of making money. And just to give you guys a little bit of my background, I have no tech experience at all. I've never created a spreadsheet. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I'd probably just ask AI to do it if I ever had to do it. Um, I just learned Google Drive two years ago. I am not a techie person. You do not have to be techie. AI is no code, okay? So you don't need computer skills to use it. Um, the only thing is learning it can be time consuming. So uh, I've been, I told you, I've been uh, generating all of my um, business from social media my entire career. One of the first in my area to use it 15 years ago. It is my specialty. Um, there's a, most agents aren't using social media to, to generate business. They're using social media as a uh, secondary website or a portfolio, which is fine, but it's not going to make you money, right? So I coached realtors on how to do this for a long time. Um, social media is very uncomfortable and uh, yeah, it's time consuming if you want to use it to generate business. Uh, so when AI came out a year and a half ago, like no code AI, uh, which is like chat GPT, I quickly figured out how to use it to address all these pain points around social media. And that's how it started. And once I saw how brilliantly it was working, 
for all of my coaching clients. I was like, now how can I uh, apply this to my entire business? And I just went down the rabbit hole. Okay. There was no formal education around it whatsoever. So it was like 12 hours a day in front of my computer, very time consuming. But luckily you have experts like me in the industry now. And, you know, if you're with EXP or you're with a good brokerage, you understand you don't need to reinvent the wheel here, guys. You just plug and play other agent systems that are working at a high level. So yeah, there's that. Here's a brief overview of the AI systems that you need in your business, okay? We have... AI algorithms. Most of you don't know, we're already, we've already been using these. Okay. So those of you who have KV Core, hopefully EXP provides it for free. I know Remax agents get KV Core as well. And there's there's other brokerages as well. Uh, KV Core is a powerful CRM. Um, and within it, we have AI algorithms already working in the form of search alerts and uh, market reports and all of these like really cool automated things going up. So we've already been using it. If you're not using a CRM that implements AI algorithms into it in those forms, you need to look into one. Second one is virtual tours and staging. Huge cost difference between staging and virtual staging, right? Um, there are a lot of companies and AI websites that provide virtual staging right now. I personally use my media company. I don't know what's going on down in the US, but in Canada, all of our media companies who provide our pictures and videography for our listings are pretty much offering virtual staging at like $10 a room, which is really cost effective. Uh, automated follow-up. Again, um, this is already available within KV Core and most of our CRMs. Uh, follow-up Boss has an AI bot built in. Uh, KV Core has AI uh, help you draft your emails and text messages. And that's only the beginning for KV Core's implementation of an AI assistant, by the way. There's more to come there. Um, data analysis. Gary, we got a question. Someone asked yeah. the closed function like KV Core for AI algorithms. Sorry? Does closed function like KV Core for AI algorithms? Uh, well, do, do you have search alerts in close and market reports that are automated and like automatically generated? M Madeline, you, can you come on and um, unmute yourself? Okay, Carrie, like you, I'm not tech savvy at all. Can you hear me? Yeah, of course. I can't say at all. I'm barely making it with all this technology. Uh -huh. So my ears perked up because my my uh, we went from KV Core to Close, and Close makes a lot more sense to someone like me with my ability to navigate. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sophisticated. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's just like it's it's similar to to KV Core and probably better, which is probably why they switched to close. Since I don't know enough about technology, I'll, that's why when you said KV Core, it perked up my, my ears perked up. Yeah, so my advice to anybody who has KV Core as a free CRM option with their brokerage is to use it. It's fantastic. The ability to build landing pages and squeeze pages in KV Core is great like a landing page and a squeeze page are a massive part of a funnel does everybody know what a funnel is start there why don't you why don't you break that down if you would mind so a funnel is the process from lead capture at the top of the funnel so that could be social media that could be an open house that could be however you're prospecting and it will funnel your leads through automated um, follow-up, nurturing, all the way down to conversion. So that's a funnel, like a complete sales process, just so you know. And a lead magnet, a landing page, a drip campaign, all of these things are very important pieces of a funnel. I, my advice is always like, use the free option. <laughs> 
I mean, so oh. KB Core is the free option. Um, yeah, the most people that I are within my AI program are like, I don't use KV core because I don't understand it. I'm like, well, you're in luck because like, it's part of my program. I teach you how to use it properly for lead generation and uh, automation. Can I ask yeah. a question? Mm -hmm. oh, I uh -oh. have white local and I, I had Raja and I think that's what you're talking about here. And it just, I got so many nasty emails from people like quit bothering me. And so I quit using it. So I'm not sure if I'm talking about the same thing you are, but. Yeah, you need, you know, it needs to be customized and it needs to see so your outreach needs to be personalized. So you're not pissing everybody off. And that's where AI comes in. AI generates all everything for me um, and personalizes it and customizes it for my business. And then I just plug it into these systems. Okay. Uh, we, we, we have another question. Uh, where can you learn to create funnels and set up funnels? In my program. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's one place. Just like watch, you just watch my presentation and then I'll tell you a little bit about my program, but you, you guys will understand as I go through more, you'll understand. You'll get it. Wonderful. Um, so data analysis and predictive analytics is so powerful, you guys. Uh, a lot of the kickback that I get from agents and the resistance that I get from agents around AI is because they don't trust the information coming out of it. Fair. There is a thing called hallucinating that chat GPT can do sometimes, but I take that completely out of the equation by uploading my own stats, my own data, okay? And having the AI analyze that and then create whatever I need based on the stats and the numbers. So a market report, I'll upload a market report and have it analyze the market report for buyers and sellers in, you know, say downsizers, right? Uh, from there, I can create anything from a drip campaign to an ad campaign to, um, oh my God, just video script that really like humanizes the market report and communicates it on a very easy to understand level. There, the, the potential is endless. So data analysis is super important. When we're talking about data analysis for commercial, also super important, right? Uh, being able to analyze financials, those of you working in multifamily, being able to analyze pro formas and, you know, calculate cap rate and is this a good investment and all that kind of thing. So data analysis and predictive analysis is super important. And I'm going to share one of my workflows that deals with this specifically later in the slides. AI powered chatbots and sales bots are brilliant if they're programmed correctly. Okay. Um, I know somebody brought up your bot was pissing off your, your database and that's fair, but that's why they need to be customized and have a specific purpose. So my bot, because guys, I'm, I'm co-listing all of my, my real estate now. I am not hands-on in real estate anymore. I'm a consultant now. I'm an AI. I, I just, that's my full-time job. So my sales process, I still have a sales process that I still build funnels, but they target agents, brokerages. Um, so my chat bot, my sales bot on my webpage is programmed to know everything about my, what I offer, right? And understand who it's targeting and who it's speaking to. So that's an important piece the customization of these is super important and you'll probably get better results. Whoever was just talking to me, I can't remember who that was. Um, high level marketing, an AI system that cannot be left out. If any of you guys do lead generation, 
uh, you know that the average cost per lead is around five to eight dollars. Okay. I'm using AI in a way where it is acting as the top marketing company in the US. And my cost per lead, because of the ad copy and ad hooks it's generating for me, are under $2 lead. Okay, so that's the power of using AI with high-level marketing. Social media and content creation. If you aren't on social media, you are doing your business a huge disservice. Okay, I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's time consuming, but AI takes all of the um, questions around what you should be talking about. It takes the time commitment and significantly drops that down. So for me, I know exactly what I'm doing. I work on social media on autopilot at this point. I've been doing it for over 15 years. And um, it used to take me about three to four hours on social media a day to generate business, to create content that would translate into transactions. Uh, I've now with AI have cut that down to one hour a week of filming and 10 minutes a day. Okay, significant change because I'm still reaching a massive amount of people with a less of a time investment and my content is a thousand times better. Very important AI system that you need in your business. Let's also talk about why you need it in your business. Well, since September, I've been predicting that SEO will not be as important. So the tens of thousands of dollars out of these agents have been putting into SEO and their website. You are going to have to be searchable and discoverable on AI. Okay. As more and more people use AI and LLMs like chat GPT, how are you going to be discoverable on AI? It's not going to be through your website. I'll tell you that. It's going to be through a massive amount of valuable content. And the only way you can generate that much content is through social media. So you're going to need social media, be using it at a high level to be discoverable by AI. And everyone's like, yeah, I don't believe you. SEO is where it's at. My web page is where it's at. Well, Google just announced two or three weeks ago that its search results are going to look a lot different. Has, that, has anybody seen this yet? They're rolling it out right now. So now your search results are like add, add, search result, search result, search result, add, add, right? That's what the results page looks like on Google. Well, now at the very top, the largest chunk of space is gonna be AI generated content. So, what I predicted in September is already starting. So that's another reason you need to have social media and you need a, 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 a strong digital brand um, in your for your business. Another AI system is automation. Oh, it's brilliant, guys. We're talking about saving time, saving manpower. Automation is everything. Like I try to automate as much as my business as possible. And um, if anybody here is using Zapier, it is a brilliant, right, Dano? It is a brilliant platform. It can literally automate 95% of your business. But in the past, it's been, it's been kind of not user-friendly. And I'm speaking from somebody with no tech background. You have to build out these automations yourself and figure out how to connect them. And well, now... Zapier has AI integrated into it. So you can literally just tell the AI what you want to build and it'll build it out for you. If the integration doesn't exist, it will build out the integration for you. It's just brilliant. Dano, have you been using the custom GPT, uh, the Zapier custom GPT yet? 
Excuse me, I have not, but um, it's it's on my list to integrate with ChatGPT. I'm trying to integrate every single tool that I have. So it will blow your freaking mind. Okay, so I went into the the um, you go into the custom GPT, you tell it the automation you want to build. So this is what I said. I said, hey, so I want to build a custom GPT that is trained on my business and my offering. And I want it to have the sole purpose of booking appointments for me. Can I integrate my custom GPT built on my business with KV Core to interact with my database? And it said, yes. I said, how will I do that? And it literally gave me step-by-step -step instructions. And in some instances, it asked me to push a button where it could go into my Zapier and build it out for me. Like, you are going to love this now. Anyways, I am an automation geek, so I just totally geeked out on everybody there. I'm sorry for that. But um, automation is a huge way to cut down physical employees in your business, and that cost is huge, right? Um, anything that is repetitive behavior in your business should be automated, the last one, I know not everybody on here is with EXP, but it is agent attraction and it still qualifies for those of you with a team or um, yeah, wanting to build a team. I've built GPTs that are for agent attraction specifically. So how can AI help you with, with, with agent attraction? Simple. It can evaluate your offering discover your unique value proposition to agents and then pair you with the demographic that's going to align most with those agents, okay? As well as build out complete funnels around that. So you, the agent attraction system is the same system for any service industry. It's just targeting differently, right? Does that, does that make sense? So anybody who is into agent attraction, um, yeah, you should find me and talk to me because I've built some really cool shit around this. Uh, let's move on. For those of you who don't know what chat GPT is, let's start at the beginning. So think of it, it's been trained. So this is an LLM, a large language model chat bot, and it has been trained on all of the information available on the internet. So if it's out there, it knows about it and it can have human communication interactions with you around any information available on the internet. That's why this is so valuable. ChatGPT, I know there's a lot of LLMs like Gemini used to be called Bard, uh, Claude. Now, ChatGPT is my favorite. It has the most capabilities in my mind and they are at the front of most of the AI advancements. It is kind of like my holy grail of AI. So it is my favorite and it is the one that I teach. Um, the cool thing about it is that it learns from you as you use it, okay? So it's communication with you will get better over time. And you can customize it and train it to talk like you, you know, uh, write like you, it can understand your entire business. It, it's just brilliant. I already talked about how AI can optimize your social media. Um, and I hope everybody understands. I think I covered everything in here already. You need to be on social media. That's just the bottom line. And I know a lot of agents are going to be like, boo, right? Because it is uncomfortable. Who wants their face on camera? Listen, I pump out videos every single day. I am like posting, I want to say on nine platforms at least twice a day. That is a lot of freaking content. And I'm still uncomfortable with being on camera. So I don't look like it, but I still am. You just do it because you want to make money, right? And you want to scale. You just do it. Just like everything else, we want the outcome, but it's uncomfortable doing the work. It is what it is. You just have to do it. Now, let's get down. 
We do have one question. Is it better yeah. to have the premium paid version of chat GPT? Uh, does it offer more bells and whistles? Thousand percent. You cannot use or build custom GPTs without the upgraded version. It is worth it a thousand times for data analysis. You can upload PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, pictures, anything, analyze that data. Very, very valuable. They did just take away plugins, which I'm kind of upset about because in Canada, we only had one plugin that connected us to MLS data, um, which was valuable because I could have conversations with listings. I'd be like, hey, check out this listing. Why isn't it selling? Oh, because it's overpriced. It'll literally tell me it's overpriced. Um, so that's gone. But GPTs are are poised to uh, replace those. So as more and more companies build GPTs with connections to their data, we will be seeing a lot of the same thing. Definitely get the upgrade. That's the short answer. It's a short answer. Okay, so first let's get rid of your marketing companies. So marketing companies can cost anywhere from a thousand to $5,000 a month, okay? And um, they're the ones to generate all of your ideas for content, emails, blogs, socials, videos, everything, website data, everything, okay? And they can be replaced with AI with this these three tools right here. Okay, first we have answerthepublic.com. The biggest hack, you guys, to creating content, everybody makes this so complicated and it's literally not complicated at all. All you have to know is who your target audience is and you need to answer the questions that they're asking. That is it, that is all, not rocket science but how do you find out what your audience is asking so you can answer those questions via blogs, videos, emails, whatever, answerthepublic.com owned by Neil Patel. He is like, I love him. Uh, side note, I'm hosting uh, one of the first AI conferences for real estate, September 26th and 27th in Niagara Falls, Canada at the casino. I just booked Neil Patel to come up and do a keynote. So it's going to be fantastic. If you're not following Neil, follow Neil. He's amazing. His content is amazing. He's the perfect example of what you should, what your content creation needs to look like. So Answer the Public is a beautiful site. You go on, you type in your topic or your industry, and it's going to give you literally all the questions that people are asking about your industry or topic. And that's what you're going to base your content around. Second one is vidIQ. This is specific to YouTube. Now, when we talk about social media platforms, YouTube is a completely different monster in itself. The algorithms are different. The SEO is different. It's actually owned by Google, so it's completely SEO driven right now. Um, understanding YouTube is a full-time job in itself. Therefore, I use an AI tool that understands it for me. VidIQ will give you your content ideas. It will script out your videos. It will give you titles, tags, descriptions, and thumbnails for your videos that are optimized specifically for YouTube. This is a YouTube AI tool. I use it consistently. And the third is ChatGPT, obviously. My favorite. I use it for absolutely everything, everything in my life. Like when I created this presentation, I popped her into chat GPT and I said, critique, analyze, critique, and make suggestions, suggestions for improvement. Like I literally use it for everything. So now we've saved you probably a thousand dollars minimum. Okay. Who wants to save more money? Video editing. Is anybody using a video editor these days? You understand that it costs like $4,000 to get eight videos edited. Bananas. Like who has the money to spend on this garbage, right? And especially when we have AI powered video editors now that do just as good of a job 
as the $4,000 a month payment. So we're going to get rid of that $4,000 a month and we're going to edit our videos like rock stars. The first one is the captions app. This is for short form vertical videos that you see on like Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. It's brilliant. One click, it will add animated captions. One click, it will do an AI zoom in, zoom out uh, feature that goes with your words and what you're saying to intensify certain words. One click, it can change and translate it into another language, one click, it can redirect your eye gaze. So the biggest, the biggest time sucker of creating video is messing up your script 10 times and taking hours to create one video. Okay. So you, you got a video, you're like, okay, I know my script. You go through it, you roll through it, that takes blue. So you move on to the next one. That's the most time consuming part of this. And if you're creating a lot of video content, uh, you want to breeze right through it. So what I do is I have a script next to me. I don't use a teleprompter, number one, because I can still see people reading a teleprompter and I, I hate that. That's my pet peeve. So I have a script beside me and I'm filming on one side and I'm reading the script. So if it's a 10 minute video, it takes me 10 minutes to read that script, okay? All I do is pop into captions and I click one button and it redirects my eye gaze to the camera. Okay, super valuable. It adds um, animated pictures. So if I say the word money, a picture will pop up of money. Like these are one click solutions that make video editing like a pro so accessible to everybody. And I wanna bring up that all of these tools that I'm suggesting all have free components and they all have upgrade components. So upon experimentation in the free, you're going to decide which ones you want to use and upgrade as you like or as you need to. Um, the next one is Veed. Veed is amazing. This is does the same thing as the captions app and more, okay? And it does it for long form videos. So videos over three minutes. This is where you get your YouTube videos edited, okay? Uh, has the eye gaze redirect, has the animated pictures, also has animated B-roll. So those video overlays of like a guy playing basketball at the top bottom of the screen while you're talking. We've all seen professionally edited, edited videos. Veed has the capability to do all of this with one click as well. It also allows you to add an avatar into your videos, a custom avatar, which is super cool. So that's like a fake video of you. Um, the third one, now the third one is a temporary stepping stone to getting your face on film. For those of you that are super uncomfortable being on video, you want to start with no face videos. Okay. But you don't want to always be creating those. Um, the, you eventually have to end up in a place where your face is on the screen. Uh, one thing about video content creation is you, in order to get any client, no matter where we're getting them from, there has to be a level of trust, correct? In order to generate trust, it's difficult, Right. So if you if it's a referral coming in, they're coming in because somebody else trusted you and they trust that person. There's got to be a level of trust and digitally gaining business is so much harder. Right. Through trust. So the goal is to get your face out there and be as authentic as possible. Um, however, you know, in video is a stepping stone and it is a stepping stone because it creates no face videos from stock footage from a prompt and a prompt is a in texted instruction, just so you guys know. So you would type in specifically and in detail what you want the video to be about and it would be magically created for you. Again, 
don't always use this. <laughs> this is like, yeah, it's like a placeholder <laughs> while you experiment with your face on video. Now we've saved you $1,000 a month on marketing. We saved you $4,000 on video editing. Let's save some more money. Automation, okay? How do we save money with automation? Manpower. What does your assistant cost you? $2,500 a month, right? Let's, and, and you need this manpower to scale. So we're going to remove the manpower with automation. Uh, the first one, we're actually not just going to remove the assistant. We're going to get rid of that costly social media management company because all they're doing is using a platform like Loomly, okay, to distribute all of your content every month and help generate ideas. And that's what Loomly does. You connect all of your social media accounts. It gives you your ideas. You create the content. You plop it in there once a month and it schedules all of the automated um, posting for you to every platform. Lo I chose Loomly. There's a lot of them out there. Chose Loomly because it has the most integrations with the most platforms, social media platforms. It is the most cost affected, so it's the cheapest. And it also allows for the most customization. So I've researched all of these, but it's still user-friendly for people who don't really understand social media and insights. So that's why I've chosen Loomly for, uh, for this presentation. So check that out again. All of these have free subscriptions and then upgraded subscriptions. So it's they're worth a try, right? The next one is ManyChat, and ManyChat has single-handedly transformed my business, okay? Dan, as you use ManyChat, I see you give a thumbs up. Yeah, I've got it automating tons of things for uh, different posts and whatnot on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, I'm bringing in like 50 leads a week from ManyChat, free leads, like no advertising, uh, all through my content creation. So I make sure there's a call to action, um, and with the call to action, basically ManyChat enables you to build entire fifth, uh, funnels within your Instagram and Facebook accounts, within the DMs. So what most people don't know is if you're trying to direct people, aka somebody like me scrolling through Instagram, and it's like, hey guys, I got this really cool solution for you. And you're, I'm super interested and it sounds super cool. And I'm like, I want to learn more about this. But if there's a link that takes me out of the platform, I'm not clicking it like ever <laughs> because I'm having fun. I'm doing my thing, right? I'm scrolling. So ManyChat actually enables you to comment on that post and then an automated funnel will, will go into that user's DM so that they can have a conversation with the automation completely within their DMs without leaving Instagram or Facebook. It's brilliant. I use it like literally every day. It's probably my favorite tool here. Again, there is a free component as well. And it implements AI nicely in terms of generating all of the messaging. Uh, there's also a chat GPT integration, but we won't talk about that. It's a little developer heavy. <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm. I feel like I'm probably overwhelming everybody really like a lot right now. So we're going to keep this simple. Uh, the last one I already brought up, Zapier. If you're not using it, you need to be. It is a website that will connect several, like thousands of, of websites together uh, to perform an automation. So one of my automations is let's say for TikTok. I am running a TikTok ad campaign with a lead form. As soon as the lead form is filled out, Zapier is sending that lead form into KV Core um, for me automatically. Uh, so that it is now a new lead in KV Core. I also have a drip campaign that is triggered by this and a text message. Zapier also sends me a text message to let me know there's a new lead. 
So it can be performed for many different tasks. Um, I've got some really, uh, I got some really complicated ones that integrate chat GPT into it. So like when I post a video on YouTube, it will transcribe the video and then it will um, rewrite it with one of my GPTs in chat GPT into a tweet uh, and then post it to Twitter. You can do anything with Zapier. It's just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we saved all of this money, right? Let's talk about workflows because I feel like many of you may not look, know what a workflow is. So a workflow is a, a series of steps that will complete an entire system. And I use AI within my workflows. Um, so you gotta be careful with these tools because if you don't implement them into systems, they can actually cost you more time. So. Uh, a workflow would look like this. Let's go back. A workflow would look like I'm going to answer the public to generate my idea. Then I'm filming it in Veed, applying all of the AI uh, edits to it, dropping it into Loomly to automate and distribute to all of my platforms. That's what a workflow looks like. Um, and using the AI tools and workflows is a possibility. That's kind of my specialty. Um, I'm gonna give you an example of another workflow. This is a quarterly business plan prompt stack that I use in chat GPT. I do use prompt engineering to get the best results for this. Prompt engineering is the art of knowing exactly how to speak to chat GPT or an LLM like Gemini or whatever you happen to be using. There is a certain framework you need to follow to get the best results. Again, that's something that I teach. Uh, but this is what the workflow looks like. First, I upload market data and stats for my client's area, right? I asked ChatGPT to provide insights for buyers and sellers. And then I ask it which demographics would be more motivated to buy or sell right now. And it's always referencing this data and these stats, okay? Then I'm gonna choose a demographic or two to target. I left one thing out of this workflow. It would go next and it would say, Generate me a full buyer or seller persona with pain points for this demographic. And then from those pain points and that persona, it will then generate a full prospecting plan, a lead magnet and landing page copy, an ad campaign and an organic social media campaign, a highly targeted drip campaign with text and emails, full scripts and objection handling for the leads that are coming in. That is what a workflow looks like, guys. Before I move on from this, does anybody have specific questions about this? We did have um, we did have a question a while back. Uh, um, let me see if I can pull it. Uh, um, 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 um. Oh, for those all uh, those of us already using video and using chat GPT and AI, how can you leverage, how can you use that to leverage your time? Automation. Automation. It's really what you just went through. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I answered the question after they asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it, it was a while ago. I just want to make sure we fit it in. Yeah. Um, let's see if we got any other questions in the chat. And if anybody has any questions, Please drop them in the chat or raise your hand if you want to come on and ask them live if you got a little something a little bit more specific. Um, oh, we have another one. Another one asks, um, how does all this relate to a Google business page? Uh, so I don't use a Google business page in my content creation workflow, but it could just be another platform for you to hit with your content. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. And then Laura from Chicago has raised her hand. She's got a question. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carrie. Thank you so much. This has been incredible and, of course, overwhelming. Um, 
for all of us, I'm sure. Um, so my question to you is, there's so much here. It's so robust. The order you presented, is that kind of the order you think we should start? Like, I'm trying to figure out to dial this down a little bit. Where do I start? And then my first step, my next step, like, what do I implement first? Laura, if I want to be honest, this is literally just scratching the surface. Um, there's so much more to do um, before you even get to this in terms of customizing your LLM. Because that's ultimately where you want to start. Customizing yeah. your what? Chat GPT, teaching oh, chat GPT, sure. your business, how to right. talk right like you, mm -hmm. um, your goals, and then uh, discovering your unique value proposition, all of it. Okay. Um, I'm going to share a little bit about my program at the end and like okay, what's, good. what it covers. First, because first, I feel first, first, like... The starting point isn't even in this presentation. There's, there's so, so much, much. To cover. and I have like literally like twenty presentations that I do. I just pick one of them. Everyone's like, "Aren't you worried that like, you know, you're giving too much information?" I'm like, "No, I'm like there's so much. There's so much." Yeah, um, yeah we I'll I'll go over at the end though, like exactly like what I like, what I teach over the process that I teach in just to kind of like help you out a little bit there. We, we have two other people that have their hands raised. Tracy yeah. Utley. Tracy, go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Hi. Um, I'm just curious because at the beginning of this presentation, you mentioned that you didn't even, you know, could barely do a Google spreadsheet or whatever. So how did you go from A to Z? Because I'm having a hard time believing that because... <laughs> <laughs> seriously though um 12 hours a day in front of my computer uh ah. discord and reddit <laughs> discord and reddit is for computer people and they talk it's like they just talk about prompt engine that's how i learned everything and then like, I have a unique brain where I am all about systems for my business. So then I take all of that knowledge, apply it to real estate and how I can build out systems using everything that I have, uh, that I've learned. So I'm good at like the overview and being able to see how to like looking at somebody's business and being like, okay, this is the process we would want to automate. And this is the process we would want to automate. And we would want to do things in this order here to get the best results and, and generate systems for businesses. So that's that's not necessarily techie though. That's just how my brain works. Um, the tech part of it was a nightmare <laughs> because there was no education around it. Like nobody was talking about how to use AI properly because nobody knew. So I literally went into chats on Reddit and Discord with computer developers until I figured it out. And it was very time consuming, but I figured it out. So that's the good part. And now I'm bringing it to you guys. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Let's move on. We, I we, got, one more, we got one more question. Kelly yeah. Jackson has her hand up. Kelly, go ahead and unmute yourself, please. So when you're talking about uploading market data and stats, is that information from the MLS or what? what is this market data and stats that you're uploading? So in, in my area, the board I belong to provides market stats and um, market reports every month. So I'm guessing that you guys have much of the same. Is that correct? Yeah. So is it like sales data? Like a little yeah, bit? I would do sales data. Because from sales data, it can figure out who is selling and then it can figure out why they're selling and it can tell you who's not selling, you know what I mean? And then you can figure out who you need to be targeting from there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah of course. Okay, so what is a custom GPT? I've, this, I've made it my business to create custom GPTs for realtors, by the way. Uh, a custom, so if we if we look at chat GPT as like wide and vast knowledge, guys, uh, custom GPT is like narrow and deep. So it does 
one job or one workflow really, really, really well. You can set the parameters around the, whoever creates the custom GPT is setting the parameters very tight or very loose. So it knows exactly what the output needs to look like um, for the job that the GPT is going to do. And I'm going to show you examples of this and how I customized it and built the back end, just like a brief description. And this is really where the magic happens for real estate, because then you don't, you don't have to worry about your prompt and your prompt engineering, because all that's built into the back end of the GPT. Uh, there's like hundreds of thousands of GPTs available out there. I want you to remember that the GPT is only good as good as the prompt engineer who created it. That's super important. Um, and you can usually tell by the output you're getting. So if it's supposed to build scripts for video for you and the scripts that are coming out are garbage, that's because the prompt engineer didn't program it properly. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the ones that I've built right now. This one is a social media caption wizard. Okay. So I believe that all of your captions should be different on every single platform. Your audience is different. The platform algorithm is different. Uh, your LinkedIn description should not be the same as your caption on TikTok. Okay. So with this GPT, I've trained it to understand what the SEO looks like for each platform, as well as what the target audience looks like on each platform. So that all you have to do is describe your video or your post in the chat box down here, and it will generate all of the, it will generate captions for every single platform that are SEO optimized for that platform. Okay. And that's how you're going to grow on social media, really understanding. Cause like we're talking keywords, you don't need to know any of this anymore. I've built this for you. Okay. So this is called the social media caption wizard. Some of these are publicly available within the GPT store right now. Some of them are only available through my programs. Um, this one is available. The next one is a viral video wizard. So this will generate video scripts for YouTube or short form content, okay? I've programmed this to understand what the framework of a viral video looks like. I've uploaded examples from viral content creators. It knows, I've programmed it to know what the hook looks like, needs to look like, what the importance of the first three seconds of your video. All you have to do is type in what kind of video you wanna build. Okay, and it'll build out a script for you. This one's great. This one here is a real estate script wizard. And this is the best script generator in the business, guys, because it will generate scripts from for door knocking to calling leads to even just having conversations with your sellers about dropping the price. It will cover any topic, okay? However, I've got a program to channel Jeremy Lee Minor, which I think is the best script writer in the every industry because he's not real estate specific. OK, so he's very um, he's very outside the box and he uses NLP, neural list linguistic programming in his scripts, as well as um, a lot of psychological components. But I also went a step further. Uh, it understands the importance of the opening line and to be unique in the opening line to get the people to want to stay talking to you, as well as I've programmed it to be very emotionally intelligent and have a massive amount of compassion because, the, you know, we're in a market where we need to be operating with that like that. Right. So. That's how I've programmed this GPT here. Your real estate COO wizard, um, chief operating officer is what the COO means, is basically the prompt stack that I shared with you for your um, quarterly business plan. Mm -hmm. I've turned into a GPT. 
Now, all you have to do is upload your market data and it will generate everything for you, like automatically. So it's programmed to run through that entire prompt stack for you, okay? Does everybody understand that? Yep. This one is my favorite one. It seems like the most simple, but it's not. So chances are if you've used ChatGPT as an agent, you've used it to generate a listing description for you. But I don't know why, because the amount of information you need to type in, why aren't you just writing it yourself? That's how I feel personally. So I've created a listing description wizard. All you have to do is upload the photos of your listing and type in the full address. That's it. It's going to analyze the pictures to create an aesthetic description, as well as search the neighborhood for amenities and selling features, schools, as well as search the market conditions in that area so that it knows what kind of tone to use. Uh, it is great. It is CEO, SEO optimized. It's going to use keywords in your listing description. And this is literally what saving time looks like. Okay. Now this one I'm giving to everybody for free today. All you have to do is go to my Instagram or my Facebook page. And on any video or post on my Instagram comment, GPT. That's it. You're going to get everything you need right in the DMs. Okay. I'm doing it now. Here is my Instagram in case you can't find me. <laughs> Sorry for my dog's crying. Sorry for my dog's crying. Hey, Carrie, hey, Carrie. Yeah. got some information and uh, we tell the people how to work with you. And I want to be the first one to work with you. I told John, I'm like, oh my God, she's my girl. I, I am highly non, 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 non technical. So I'm even below Tracy. So Tracy, don't worry. If I'm below, below you, then, then we can get in line and have Carrie help us. Okay, so guys, I've built a program. It's called the AI Powered Real Estate Influencer. Okay, it's got many parts to this. It starts out with database management because it's such an important part of the funnel. You need to know how to create drip campaigns, landing pages. I use KV Core in the screen sharing tutorials, but I have agents in my program that use Bub and Chime, it's interchangeable. The concepts are the same, but you need to understand what you're doing. And that's why I start with this. The next is social media. First, I teach you without AI so that you can really understand how to generate business on social media. It's something I've been doing for 15 years. It is the from the very basic of all platforms, I'm talking Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Very basic to the highest level of video content creation. And then I'm going to take you through and I'm going to take you from idea to creation to editing to posting all with AI after you've learned everything. Okay. Then we get into AI for your entire business. The systems have the steps to implementing them prompt engineering, backend setup, priming, teaching chat GBT to, to talk like you and write like you, as well as all of my workflows, all of my custom GBTs, which I'm always creating more, how to have conversations. So you, I'm not sure if you guys know, but you can have one single conversation within chat GPT with several custom GPTs now. That's like the newest feature. Uh, that enables you to create workflows and systems for your business using GPTs. So you don't have to leave one and then go into another. It's brilliant. Uh, and then I get into all the other AI tools that I recommend and how to string them together to create workflows. 
And then I go into automation, Zapier and ManyChat specifically. And I even have some agent attraction in there, which is in the form of the custom GPT that I've built for agent attraction. You upload your offering from your brokerage. Then it's going to ask you 30 questions about you and your business in terms of like what you offer agents. Then it's going to figure out your unique value proposition from that, tell you who to target, who's going to align with what you offer, how to target them, where to find them, and create an entire funnel for you. Okay, this one's just like a bonus. It's brilliant. Um, this is a pre-recorded program. You work at your own pace, but I'm available every single Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time on a live Zoom where anybody can come on and ask questions. It's not structured. It's just for like extra help. I don't get a lot of people asking questions. The consensus is that it's very easy to understand. There's a lot of screen sharing tutorials, step-by-step -step implementation. They come on to, so I can help them strategize and customize when they're through the program. They're like, okay, this is what I hate doing every day. Can I automate it or can we add AI? So that's kind of what it is being used for. But Cam, I have 78 year old women in my program from like Saskatchewan, Canada to like Martha's Vineyard in the US that are like having no problems with this program. So this is how you get my program. And this is actually perfect timing because at some point tonight, my marketing partner is raising the price. Right now it's $3,000. She's raising the price to 3,500 tonight. So um, if you are super interested, save, save yourself some money. I update the program every two months, okay? Because AI is constantly changing. I'm constantly adding the new capabilities in the new tools that are really, they're, they're amazing. And I do send out an email to everybody that's a member, letting them know where they can find the new content as well. Awesome stuff, Carrie. Thank you for jumping on. Uh, we're super excited. You, I mean, you really brought it today and I can tell by the questions, everybody's paying attention and getting a lot out of this. Um, guys, if you, uh, if you, if you want more information on Grow Global, we've got a website where you can find our, our new, uh, or our, our, our upcoming masterminds that we're doing. Um, we got a, we'll have this along with all the other past, uh, masterminds we've done on our YouTube channel at Why Grow Global One. Um, you can uh, subscribe if you want to be a subscriber there. All the links are in the chat. We've got a Facebook group if you want to join that, the uh, Grow Global Mastermind Academy. And we've got an Instagram account we just created at Why Grow Global. So uh, please connect with us on social. Next week, bring a friend. Um, next week, we've got another mastermind coming up. We're going to be talking about harnessing uh, platforms uh, for off-market real estate. Obviously, a hot topic right now with everything going on. I'm sure everybody on this mastermind has a friend or a colleague or somebody that would like that would have loved to have been here today and getting this uh, received this information from Carrie. So bring them next week so they can join us. Um, but guys, I hope everybody has a great week. Thanks again, Carrie, for uh, stepping up and showing out. We appreciate you, and uh, we're uh, super excited to see everybody grow their business with AI. And uh, so, guys, look forward to seeing everybody next week. Have a great week. Let's go out and crush it. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye.